On the 14th of October, a terrorist attack in Somalia's capital Mogadishu cost over 300 lives. Turkey was the first to respond by sending medical teams and is also training Somalia's security forces. We talked to Somalia's Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khairi. I'm Hassan Abdullah and you're watching One on One Express. Prime Minister, thank you for talking to TRT World. Just a few days ago, Somalia witnessed arguably the worst terrorist attack in its capital's history. Some people have been saying that the empathy, the sympathy, the solidarity that's witnessed, it's not the same depending on where the terrorist attacks uh, take place in the world. What's your response to the global reaction? Uh, it is indeed uh, the worst terrorist attack that happened and we still mourn. And uh, we are very grateful for those who stood with us. Uh, it depends, of course, uh, what area in the world you are. And Somalia is not part of Europe or part of the developed world. So attention uh, and reactions depends on geographical areas. However, uh, there are a number of countries around the world who have come to our rescue. Uh, we also have seen the strength and the will and the determination of the Somali people who have done everything they could do to stand with their wounded and dead people and provide support. It has united the world. But of course, the incident itself was the worst in our history. And of course, the uh, nation still mourns. But we hope that uh, the world sees the importance of Somalia uh, as a nation that can defeat terrorism, as a nation that has come out from major challenges and now ready to take a global stage. And we hope that the nation will be seen as what it is and not what it used to be. Your government is planning to take decisive steps to defeat the terrorist groups uh, operating in Somalia. Uh, what sort of plans do you have um, in the offering? Our plan is to defeat them in everywhere, defeat them militarily, defeat them ideologically, defeat them uh, in economic growth, defeat them in good governance, defeat them by uh, tackling corruption. We are planning to be the alternative of the, for the Somali people. We are the only alternative as a government that works for the betterment of the Somali people. Now, Turkey and Somalia are working on military cooperation as well. Tell us a bit about that. How do you wish to, how do you f uh, believe that cooperation is going to help uh, Somalia in particular? Uh, Turkey and Somalia have a, a very extensive uh, cooperation. We have a, a military training facility that Turkey has in Somalia where they will support in training Somali soldiers. That is the, uh, the arrangement and we're very, very grateful for the support. I was here now and I met all the leaders of, the, of the, this country and we have had a very fruitful uh, and productive discussions and agreed that we forge a strategic relationship uh, between our two countries. Uh, on security and fighting terrorism, and economic growth and job creation, on businesses and, and trade, and infrastructure building. Uh, our nations have uh, a lot of things in common, and we're very grateful for the working relationship we have. And today I've met the business leaders also of this country, who've also uh, shown their commitment to Somalia, and we've also emphasized our readiness and commitment as a nation that is open for business. You've said earlier that you wish to take the bilateral relations between Turkey and Somalia to a new level. What sort of projects do you have in the pipeline? Uh, a number of things. Uh, Turkey is supporting Somalia in uh, development and infrastructure. They will also work with us uh, how to bring our business communities together. We will uh, make sure that uh, the world sees Somalia what it is a nation that is strategically located, a nation that has a vast uh, resources, a nation that has a vibrant and young uh, generation, a nation that has everything but just needs a little bit of push. And we are very grateful that Turkey understands that and we will work with them. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you very much indeed for talking to TRT World. Thank you.